Unit 2, Section 2, discusses also another European group that explored the New World were the French. The French mostly settled up around the St. Lawrence River, the Great Lakes, and the Mississippi River. The center of their civilization in the New World came to be called New France, and New France's capital became Quebec. And the reason why Quebec was so strategically important to the French is that it was located on the St. Lawrence River. It also became the center of French fur trade in North America, which uh, really Im increased the amount of money that the French were able to make off their colonization of the New World. The French had the best relations with Indians, and they mostly sent young fur traders to the New World, known as Coeur de Bois, and they developed this relationship with the Indians, enabling them to kill more animals like the beaver, skin them, and then bring the skins to uh, the city of Quebec. And then from there, the, because the St. Lawrence River dumps into the Atlantic Ocean, these furs were able to make it back to France. The Spanish are going to come here to the New World and they're going to profit off the Columbian Exchange but one of the things they're most known for is bringing deadly epidemics to the New World. Specifically one disease called smallpox may have killed 80 to 95 percent of the po of the Native American population in the New World. But that's not it's not just negative things that the Spanish brought to the New World. The Spanish also introduced horses to Native Americans, which is going to be very important. Horses are going to be used for transportation and for work. They're also going to bring oxen, cows, to the New World, which are going to be used for work. They're also going to introduce rice and wheat to the New World, which is going to make very good staple foods for both settlers and Native Americans in the New World. With this system of agriculture comes a new type of slavery system known as the encomienda system. The encomienda system had originally begun off the coast of Africa on sugar plantations known as Seo, Tome, and Principe. This, these sugar plantations migrated with the Spanish to the New World, and not only did the Spanish produce sugar in the New World, but they also discovered that there were large mines of silver in the New World, and they would use these Native Americans as slaves in these silver mines. It was hard labor, and in the mines they were poorly ventilated. There were often cave-ins and floods and, and sometimes uh, very hot water, steaming hot water would um, kill many of the Native Americans underneath the ground. The route that the Europeans brought the slaves over here on from Africa became known as the Middle Passage. And I think that this is a, a very good map to show you this, is the route that they were brought from Western Africa over to the New World on. The slaves that eventually came to the United States were brought originally to the West Indies and then traded up into uh, South Carolina and the other southern states. This route that slaves were brought to the New World on became known as the Middle Passage. This picture right here shows a uh, slave ship with slaves loaded on it. The mortality rate on these slave ships were well above 50%. About half the slaves on these routes would be expected to die. The Spanish were also uh, very good at defining social classes in the New World. The Spanish called these social classes castes, and the chart here shows you the Spanish caste system in the New World. At the bottom would be slaves and Africans, and at the top would be the Peninsularis. The Peninsularis would be European-born white 
people. In between would be Indians, mestizos, which are mixed blood, natives and Spanish. And then uh, you would also have mulattoes, which would be Africans and whites, and Creoles, which are Spanish people born in the colonies. And notice that they're down below the uh, Peninsularis, the ones born originally in Europe. This concludes Roman uh, Unit 1, Section 2. And we talked about the French and the Spanish contributions to the New World.